All right, guys, I hope you can hear me with the wind. It's our last day in Mexico. We're walking to snorkel, we're walking down by where we're actually can swim. There's a lot of rocks. Um, as you can probably see, there's, there's not the best place to swim in fact, you can. I mean, you can, no one's gonna stop you, but there's like red flags up and, well, we're gonna be walking a little bit. So I wanted to make a video for you guys and um, share with you the foundation of everything that can change your life, change my life seven years ago. And that was the journey that I began of self-love. Now, I know it's a super popular term now, and uh, before I get into uh, that and what I think it means, you'll be actually learning a tool in this video, so definitely watch to the end if this is something that you uh, feel it's gonna be, you know, in contribution to what you're at currently at in your life. I know for me it still is. So seven years ago, I went through a huge transition, ended a six-year-long relationship, started a business. This pretty much revamped my whole life because I was tired of denying what I needed to be possible for myself. Look at this. I knew that one thing that was in the gap that was missing was self-love because, you know, I had been living from a space of doubt and really feeling less than, and I'm sure some of you watching can relate to that. You know, not all the time, but the times where it mattered, the times where I settled for things like in my relationship, and my work, all that kind of stuff. So with that said, I decided seven years ago that I was going to love myself and I was going to do whatever it took to really be authentically empowered and confident and just love all of who I need. That's the parts that I naturally loved and thought were great, but the parts that I honestly thought sucked or wished they weren't like how they were, you know? And so my invitation for you is that if you haven't already, or maybe you have had, you know, taken this journey, but you were ready to deepen it, that this, that you take out this paper and write down all the things that you love about yourself and then also write down all the things that you wish you could change or you'd like to change the worst you want. And loving yourself isn't about the obvious thing of loving what you already love and like about yourself. It's about really loving the things that you actually wish were different. That's what loving yourself really is. So if you're broke as F and wish you had more money, love that you're in that place. Not because you're gonna resign in it and stay in it, but love and honor your journey and then use that as a catalyst, as an energy to make change. You know, if you are 50 pounds overweight and you've struggled with weight your whole life, Hating your body is not gonna fucking change it, guys. It's not. Loving and honoring what your body's doing for you every single day, what your lungs are doing, what your heart's doing, what your legs are doing. Some people don't have legs and arms. If you have legs and arms, you are winning. Literally, you are winning in life. And then use that love and that self-acceptance to, another beat shot, to create the change you want. So make that list, make that list of everything you love, everything you don't love. And the things you don't love, that's where the true unconditional choice of love happens. Love is a choice, it's a choice with us, it's a choice in our relationships, it is not based off of a feeling that is kindergarten shit, and I'll make another video about that. It is a choice, it is a commitment, I would still be broke at an old job of mine. Is that our tall baby? Yeah. And I would really be denying the true power of who I need. And same thing with you guys. Same thing with you guys. There's so much available for you when you 
are ready and willing to claim it. And the first step is through self-love. So I love you guys. We're going to go snorkeling. And uh, next video you have for me, I'll pull you back on the stage.